would also be oh, oh nice sorry <laughs> would be would also be to uh, uh, define student housing uh, sorry student rental a student rental so that now seems to be important from from two points of view and i think that it's it's appropriate that we should have whether we decide to use it or not we should at least uh, have a, a functional definition of student rental because then uh, if it ever becomes an important or a relevant thing we don't have to start from you know the back mark we've already done that piece of work and we can do it if we decide decide to do it as a as a as a as a, an isolated uh, exercise perhaps we go and proceed to create that definition without people um, asserting that there is this uh, uh, that this this um, um, disingenuous objective or that disingenuous objective and so forth. We just do it as a first step to nothing or apparently nothing. <laughs> so I think that becomes a an important, relevant piece of work that hasn't been done that relates to housing that would seem to fall very logically into the uh, workload or the, or the, or the, 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 of this committee. So that's my Agreed. suggestion. And the other thing I would add, I also just reread the 2021, um, like on the, the town housing plan, I forget the over name that Nate just sent us a weeks ago. And I was a, a little disheartened that half the things I feel like we're pushing against were proposed to happen in that. <laughs> I was a little surprised, but there are, there are some goals in there that, would support defining a student rental also. So I feel like we could actually, when this, assuming we do this and it goes to council or the planning board, we can point to that and say, no, this was part of the, the bigger long-term plan. We do need this definition. And I totally like your idea, Bruce, of not tying it to anything else other than this first attempt, just get the definition on the book somehow. I, I totally agree. Elizabeth? Yeah, I just want to, I, I, I agree also that there needs to be a definition of student rental and um, I can imagine it getting a little bit thorny with graduate students who have families. And if, you know, a graduate student with a family is renting a place and then has an ADU in their backyard and is renting that to make income, it's like, how do you decide, oh, well, only one member of that family is a student? Um, so then I think you do need this idea of what a student rental actually yeah. qualifies as. Although, Janet, the, what you just said, I think, mm -hmm. sounds pretty good. I haven't thought it through entirely. The only 50% or if more than 50% are pursuing higher education, is that what you said? Something along those lines. I can't remember. Yeah, some, you could say, you know, like, you know, I mean, part of it is you can't have a household of unrelated people more than four. So if three are students and one's not, you know, that would still be a student rental. Right. You know. Right. And that, but that gets also to your point, Elizabeth, about families. Like, if it's one person in a family, then it's not. If there's three other family members, then it would not be considered student rental, right? Um, I just want to jump in really quickly. I was talking to Pam Rooney about this, and she said they're going to be collecting more information under the rental registration. And um, one of the things they could ask for is, you know, are you know, are the occupants students, undergraduate students, or students? And so yeah. that could. Be this they, may not happen this fall, but it could be a question that they, they are. And the landlord has association has already put out language to all the landlords saying, here's how you should respond to certain things, which basically removes all that information. And yes, yeah, there's going to be some back and forth is all I'm saying. Yeah. I think the landlord association is sort of a, in a, a lot of their stuff is sort of a legal fantasy. Yes, um, I agree. But I think but, it's a constitutional violation and you're just like, you know, that doesn't, it doesn't exist. Yeah. But. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, as the uh, as the resident landlord in the uh, group, uh, oh, I'm a landlord, Fred. Yeah, me too. Uh, me yeah, too. One of my uh, one too. of my one one of my apartments uh, for uh, a number of years, not currently, but one of them for a number of years uh, had a graduate student in the wildlife department married to a elementary school teacher in the town of Shutesbury with uh, first one and then two children. Uh, so that's it's, uh, 
for me, that's not an academic question at all. Um, that would not be a student rental, right? I, I'm interested in uh, the uh, well, as 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 regards to the definition, um, the uh, um, the places to look would be uh, college, uh, state college in Pennsylvania. They're the they're the uh, the town that's most like us that's done the most work, and uh, I think I've got that definition in the notes I sent around of my conversations and so forth. So we would start with that and see whether why it wasn't worth. I think we, I could go back and 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 talk to um, Ed Leclerc, uh, uh, who's the planning director there, uh, about uh, you know we talked. To, I had a forty five minute fairly long, wide ranging conversation with him. But uh, if he had a moment, we could, or even one of his people, I, I could, uh, yeah, I mean, push this, the this uh, is... definition a little. So right. I would do that if, if he's still there. But that'd be great. Um, State, the other... sorry to State College was one of the places that actually had the definitions right on their website. I'm looking at it right now. I remember yes, seeing that's that's exactly where right. That's where I yeah. got it from. Um, he directed me there, but that's where it came from. Um there is this uh, housing study group uh that's um I got an invitation to put uh, to participate in uh their working groups and I, the way they're structuring it, they're asking to they're calling them interview groups, I think, and uh, they uh, there's I don't know eight or so uh, times or time slots, and they've asked people to sign up for one time slot or another, and 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 they they are taking up to five people in each time slot. I think they're trying to fill every time slot with five people. So that I guess is the beginning of the uh, the process of uh, revising this housing study. Um, so oh, sorry, that's I, an Amherst effort. Yeah, I just wanted to know who else is involved in that. I I was simply invited, uh, and I'm not sure why. I just got an invitation when I when I went on to the site to sign up. I noticed that uh, a number of councillors had signed in. Uh, I I noticed that Adrian Tini from Kuhn Riddle was obviously got an invitation and responded. A uh, few people I didn't recognize. Um, but um, a, a number of councillors, I know uh, Mandy Joe, Pat DeAngelis, uh, Jennifer, Tal, Lynn Greismer, uh, maybe one or two others, but I certainly remember those uh, are, are, are participating. So uh, I was curious. It seems that uh, none of the rest of you have uh, have been invited. I don't know why I was invited. I don't know the person who invited me. Well, hold on. This I'll tell you who it was. <laughs> just a minute. Because you're the most sensible, most knowledgeable of, of us. So uh, that's arguable. Uh, um, here we go. Shane uh, Mule Mister. Uh, let's see what Shane's. Uh, oh, Dodson Flinker. Okay. So this is. Uh, Uh, hold on. Uh, maybe that's not the one. Uh, golly me! All this. And and this is. Oh, hold on. No, this is another one. That's uh, now we. It's for Shane Gregory who. Is that for this housing oh. study? Yes, it's that's, called. That's Greg. Who also, is input on, on housing strategies, and Shane Gregory is from uh, amos.gov yeah so greg i think that's greg he just started the meeting for us he oh. i hadn't met him yet he's uh oh he's, gregory uh, was shane not yeah. i see there's a comma there i didn't see the comma <laughs> okay so anyway this is uh, the sessions are led by representative of the barrett planning group and it says uh, we invite you to add your perspective to this work joining an interview group session and then there's um there's a bunch of days and uh, and then when you click, you get a, the, the 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 matrix of possibilities, and they ask you to sign up for one of them. Or and sign sorry, into one. Is it clear what the goal is? I missed that. Um, it's uh, we invite you to share insights and feedback into town's housing production plan. So it's the housing production plan. I think we already have a housing production plan. I think this is the. The, the required updating of this uh, that happens. Didn't we talk briefly about that at the planning board? Anyway, yes. housing production plan 
is uh, so it's clearly relevant to this committee. I will uh, I'll forward this to you, uh, Jesse, and 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 to others. Yeah, great. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, I'll do it now while we're talking. Okay, forward. Okay, I just keep. I, I'm just doing this for the moment. Sorry, I think Karen just emailed me that she's in the attendees, and I'm trying to. I've lost that window. Weird. Does anyone else see attendee window? Um, uh, just a minute. I, I have. I have zero in the attendees. My, my my sidebar just disappeared, which is weird. Okay, I just sent that uh, thing, and uh, I have zero as well. But it could be that you can see things that we can't, because right. I remember that's in the not, in the. So I'm confused what just happened. I think yeah. it was when I started recording, the sidebar disappeared. All right, I'm going to stop the recording and see if it comes back. Cynical on town. A little cynical on town plans, because we have so many fantastic plans that we don't implement. But I think, you know, we met the goal, we met the numerical goal of the last plan. It just turned out to all be almost all student housing, except for um, a good amount of affordable housing. And so if I think the feedback to the group would be like, we don't really need, sorry for this cat. <laughs> we don't really need more, you know, student housing. We need housing for regular residents and affordable housing is that the plan has to somehow accommodate the fact that the most people willing to pay the highest amount in rents, yeah. most attractive to developers at a time of high costs are students. And so, um, so that's just my feedback because, you know, the other thing is it'd be nice to implement a plan actually and not, I'm sorry about this cat, he's missing us. I've been away for a while. Um, you know, it's like implementing the plans and not just, um, you know, drafting them and having them so we could have some more state money for something, you know, checking the box. Uh, my guess my guess is that what drives this is, is the, the latter. This is a this is like a, a piece of work that, that we are semi-obligated to do and it, it's not a, uh, it's 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 not something that's um, uh, a, a clever in, you know, a, a initiative based on some uh, generating local desire. And you know, but both I, that, both that and the housing management plan all talk about the impact of students on neighborhoods and they need to stabilize neighborhoods. And so, I don't know. We have language in all sorts of things that could support what we're doing, and yet the town isn't doing those things. And so I think that's what our push should be, you know. But I think to bring up this issue is that we're always going to get students in our housing unless there's some sort of control. And maybe the housing production plan recommends minimum distance or a limit on the percentage of units or something. That would be kind of subversive to get that in the plan, like specific ideas. Um, circling back a little bit to the definition idea, I have a, I have a proposal, I guess. So I'm looking at the state college definition. You want to read it? Sure. Yeah. I, I can, yeah. Let me, I just sent you all the link, but I'll share the screen and we can look at it together. That's uh, a better idea. Yeah. You guys see it in my screen? Yes. Yep. Okay. Student home definition. Student home is defined as any living arrangement within a one family dwelling, yes. one family dwelling with an apartment or two family dwelling by persons who are unrelated by blood, marriage or adoption and are attending undergraduate or graduate programs offered by colleges or universities or are on semester break or summer break from studies at college universities or any combination of such persons. Residents of a student home share living expenses and may live and cook as a single housekeeping unit. Student homes include living arrangements where the landowners or landowners' family members are residents of the dwelling unit. Student homes do not include fraternity sororities, rooming houses, townhomes, or multiple family dwellings. Okay, so the question becomes, is there anything in that that is redundant or is inappropriate or irrelevant to right. our situation. So, so and, what I was and the corollary is, or the is is there anything obviously missing? Right. So I was going to propose we just look at this and maybe just take it verbatim and say, okay, here's what we think student definition should be. But obviously, discuss exactly what you said, rather than. I, I yes. Can can any of us see any reason that uh, is this? Is there anything that this doesn't cover, 
or is there anything well, in, this in violates? The scenarios, the scenarios we just discussed, right, where it's one student with three family members who are not students. By this definition, I think that it doesn't fall into this definition because it's more. Uh, I think my my concern is the one family dwelling or one family dwelling with an apartment or two family dwellings. I think I I'd like to see something more generic than, you know, what if what about a triplex? What about a quadplex? Right. What about you know an ADU? Townhome townhomes. Yeah. Well, but but if you try and reach too far, remember the uh, the very nice and useful uh, metaphor or simile of other dragging cookies uh, out of a cookie jar. Uh, if you grab too many cookies, you can't get them through the the hole, <laughs> and 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 you get most of what you want by getting two cookies out, and you don't need the third cookie at least not immediately. So, I'm I'm going to be looking at it from the point of view of uh, if we try to uh, to do too much, that it becomes cumbersome and uh, and then begins to open up. Uh, lines of argument for people who want to knock this down. So I would go for uh, less than all con all encompassing mm -hmm. if the uh, outliers are not going to be serious or we don't think the outliers are going to be serious, uh, are going to contribute seriously to the problem. So if we can get 95% of the problem defined the way it is, we don't have to get the other 5%. Yeah. We can yeah. work on that later. But I think you could take, I mean, you could take townhomes out of the exclusion and you could, I mean, you would take rooming houses out because we don't even allow rooming houses, right? We do. By oh, special I thought we permit. didn't. We do by special permit. Oh, okay. And I think it's limited to six people. Yeah, so let's work on this. I don't know if we do workshop it. I might just say a dwelling unit because that's already defined in our, somewhere in our. Um, yeah. What? You Fred, know, Fred, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I'm in the uh, exclusion. Um, I'm not sure at all about townhomes, and I'm definitely not sure about multiple family dwellings. Yeah, uh, whether that belongs there. Uh, Bruce, can you t maybe why are the why are those in there? Yeah, do we even need that? Yeah. I, I, um, well, I think because, um, probably because in multifamily dwellings, they are allowed in zones where the restriction on students is either inappropriate or, or is not, uh, is not equivalently disruptive. I mean, I think that there are places, for example, uh, where we are talking about the University Drive, where we are uh, encouraging student rentals to occur. So we wouldn't want to put a uh, restriction on multifamily dwellings. Although, like you just said, our first approach is not to restrict anything. We're just defining. Yeah. Then when we come to the any possible restrictions, we could exclude multifamily from the restriction, right? So if we went down that road of distance, we would obviously not include multifamily dwellings, I think, in that, or for example. Or we could just say we're, you know, the restrictions are in residential districts, not other zoning right. districts. But, but again, that feels like the next, maybe not part of this first attempt. So so I'm thinking maybe we could just take the exclusions out for now, right? I mean, why does that need to be in there at all to define yeah. a student rental? Um, yeah, I would, I, I would point. think you're removing the townhomes and multifamily dwellings because we do, you know, we do have separate zoning for fraternities and sororities, which are allowed almost nowhere. And then rooming houses are allowed with someone living there. So, so just take out that last bit. Yeah. Fine with me. Um, I just want to read this again. Uh, I guess we could copy it into a, into a Word document and start yeah, I, doing I it that way. That. Sure. And uh, the other, I, uh, so, so we could uh, also, uh, someone, maybe you said, Janet, whether, whether we wanted to um, 
have this definition apply only to certain zones in town uh, so that we uh, or do we uh, or do we again decide that's irrelevant just as yeah. we are contemplating uh, taking this out but, the, I mean, my thought would be it's relevant for now yeah and then, like because I feel like it the more we mm, complicate it or parse it here the more trouble it has getting through the next steps potentially gotcha yes <laughs> Um, and then also to address uh, Elizabeth's interesting uh, question, which is uh, what about the uh, essentially the graduate student family? And I think the graduate student family is not um, it, it is not covered in this because it's uh, it's 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 not an unrelated. It's where it says uh, who are unrelated by blood, marriage, or legal adoption. So I think that that uh, a graduate family as described by Elizabeth would uh, would be one who is related right. by blood, marriage, or legal adoption. So I think but, they are. And this would also mean if you had, I don't know, four siblings who were all attending UMass, that would not be a student rental because they are <laughs> related. <laughs> I, I doubt that often happens, but. Because it's also, yeah, also it's persons, plural. So there has to be more than one. So in that family scenario, it would not count either. Even if it was, this also means if it's not, one. It does student, say if if, uh, if you're the, the, the son of the landlord, you are still, uh, or the daughter, you're still considered uh, a student home if you have friends in. Correct. Yeah. yeah. So like, and, you know, I've had situations where I have one student and two young professionals so that would not count because it's only one. Yeah. I think. I'm reading this correctly. I mean, there are situations where people buy homes and then they're rented by their children and, be, you know, and other students, yeah. you know. Yeah. That's right. And it, and I've it's never actually people, but I hear of them. <laughs> yes, no, and, and that would, uh, this definition would include that situation as a student home. But, but it should. I think it should, right? That's I fine. do. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a student home that's perhaps possibly a, a approaching some degree of owner occupancy, not technically, but uh, but still, it's a student home. Yeah. Um, Fred, go ahead. Uh, yeah, the other wrinkle here is uh, factoring in the new legislation. Uh, if uh, a student home by the definition is located in an accessory dwelling unit mm -hmm. under the legislation uh, it's not clear to me whether we can step into that or not well but again i think we're not trying to say what this definition is used for yet we're just saying let's have a definition okay that's and fair then, and then once that gets part of our yeah. bylaw or whatever we want to call it, then we can think about, okay, how do we regulate? How, how do we mm -hmm. want to try and get a handle on where and how many student rentals are? I, I, I agree with what you're saying, but uh, I think that's not part of this initial attempt, would be my view. So the other place that did uh, minimum distancing was um, Newark. Uh, Delaware and of course Villanova as well, but I think they dropped it some time ago. Um, so what, uh, we could. Find, I don't know whether I have the the definition that Newark used, um, and I, and I haven't also asked other places that I called whether they had a definition because of course they may have a they may have a, a student rental definition, and it wouldn't have risen uh, to. Uh, you know, above the water for me because I, they, we didn't talk about it, but it, it would be, I think this is a good one. And I think we should uh, contemplate uh, uh, proposing this as a, an action item out of this committee that we uh, propose to the town that we adopt this definition. We adopt, A, that we adopt a definition for a student rental and that this be that definition. I think that would be, a, a, in fact, I, I would move that, uh, I would so move that we that this committee 
uh, recommend to the board that it uh, propose to the town that we adopt as a definition of a student rental and that this be the definition. That's a motion. Janet? I, I would be interested in seeing what other towns have done too before, I, I can't vote on this anyway, but um, I'd be interested in if other towns maybe have a, you know, a different cut or something a little shorter. I hate, I hate the long sentence um, in general. And so I just wonder if we could look at two or three examples, that would be helpful. But. Uh, so since there was a motion, I'll, I will second the motion. Then it has some comment also. Um, any, any other comments from other people before? So, so I was just remembering, I'm pretty sure when I first looked into this, Cambridge, Massachusetts had a student rental definition as well. But I think that may have been challenged and lost. But I wanted, I just want to circle back and see that because if there's precedent in Massachusetts, certain language that did hold up, maybe that's also, you know, makes our, our case a little stronger as well. Um, I also am pretty sure, I got to double check the date, but from State College, this has been since 2016 or so. Mm -hmm. so you might know better. So that's a great sign to me that it hasn't been successfully challenged um, there anyway. Whether it's been challenged, I don't know. I think the minimum distancing is uh, what they're more concerned about. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm not sure that the de the definition has been uh, a point of contention. Gotcha. Just looking at my. Well, I, I I have a motion. I, I, it doesn't look like it's been seconded. Uh, oh, I, but... no, I seconded it. Sorry, that wasn't okay. clear. I'll, I'll second the motion. Um, seems like there was no other conversation. So. Just to restate, your motion is to put this forward to who first? Planning board? Well, we're a subcommittee of the board, so I, right. I think, uh, uh, I mean, yes, that's the motion. Uh, I think uh, you, Jesse, you might want to talk to Chris Brestrup about uh, and to and to uh, and to Doug um, and bef uh, before we do this, and, and either one or both of them might have some. Uh, uh, some some um, commentary that would suggest sure. that we go, you know, we we uh, we we work a bit harder before we bring it. But uh, this sure. is uh, I, I'm I'm trying to uh, um, uh, uh, basically put, put some horsepower behind this committee by having a product that we can bring yes, I, at least I, that you can bring at least to the uh, uh, to the two uh, um, you know, to the chair and to the uh, staff before we maybe take it to the uh, planning board for conversation. And of course the planning board could decide to refer it back for the reasons that Janet mentioned. You know, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm not unsupportive of all of what Janet said. I'm just trying to, you know, uh, get the baby washed, so to speak. Great, I, I appreciate that. Okay, so let's, let's vote on this as our subcommittee. Um, with only three of us present, um, we'll do a roll call vote. Uh, so, Bruce Scoldham, do you? I approve. Fred? I approve. And I also approve. So, three in favor, um, but Karen not here. Great. So, so, so Jesse, I, I, I'd suggest that the, the minutes of this meeting are more important than yep. the minutes of previous meetings. Or, yep. uh, I will get that. that together, and as you suggest, I will communicate with Doug and Chris yeah. about this, and and seek guidance on how to proceed for yeah. sure. Great, very good. And um, I will, uh, I've sent you the others, the housing uh, study uh, um, working group, interview groups, things. I, I, I've i uh, taken some uh, advice from you all about my participation in that. And then if you all join in any way, then you can do likewise, but I will, uh, I will, I will ask. Uh, in 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 my attendance, I will focus on uh, seeing to what extent the housing study is dealing with uh, um, impacts of student rentals in uh, in most districts of town. Okay. 
That's great. Um, uh, I will also follow up. We seem to be in agreement about trying to get maybe Mindy Dom to come for a conversation about the new uh, law, right? Okay, so I'll follow up with her to see if she can come ideally maybe to even to our next meeting, which right now is on the schedule for the 29th, also at noon. Um, but I just today got a potential conflict on that. So I wanted to check with, I guess, Bruce and Fred, if we could shift that. Um, I'm pretty flexible, Jesse. Okay. Any other day that week, I could still do the noon time. If you guys uh, could. Let me go. Where are we now again? So August 27, 28, 29, 30. I can't do the 29th, but I could do any other day that week. I think I'm just to go to my calendar. Oh, where are we trying to find it? And obviously, Janet would love for you to participate as well. Yeah. Elizabeth, too, if you're free. <laughs> I'm, I have mean, no plans. Yeah. <laughs> Typically, Tuesday is a full day for me at Habitat, but okay. uh, other days could... I'm pretty flexible. I'll, I'll propose Wednesday. Yep. Wednesday the 28th? Yes, Wednesday the 28th. Yes, and what I time? I think that can work for you. Uh, also noon. Let's say noon to hopefully one thirty. Um, today I do have to leave at one. Okay. Fred, any conflicts for you? You're muted. Sorry, you're muted, Fred. Well. Sorry, I, I just moved it on my calendar to Wednesday. Great. Yep. Excellent. Okay. So let's consider that done. I will let Karen know, obviously, and the town to make sure they set it up for us. Yeah. Um, okay. So by then, I'm going to have, I'll communicate with Mindy. If she's not available, uh, do we think a second person we could have in mind who we know? I don't know any of the people personally. So, other suggestions? Someone mentioned Mandy Joe, maybe. And uh, sorry, uh, I was looking at the, uh, your question again. If, uh, if Mindy cannot make it, is there someone else I would invite next? Because I, I don't know. Well, uh, Mindy might. I don't know whether Mindy has a staffer or not. Uh, if she does, that would be a good substitute. Um, okay. Otherwise, uh, I, I guess Joe would be equally. Uh, she might be busier. I don't know whether they're. Yeah. Whether, okay. Uh, what their I'll workloads see. are. I'll see. How I think I... either one or their star or their designated uh, sword would be uh, uh, good. Okay. Um, so I'll follow up with that. I will also commit to getting minutes, at least from this maybe meeting, done and communicate with Chris and Doug by then as well. Um, as I mentioned in the email earlier, for the when my semester starts, I can't really do mm -hmm. midday stuff like this. So unfortunately, I'll, I'll need us to find an evening that could work. Um, so if we could all just think have our schedules ready for the next meeting to, to yep. try to figure that out. Okay. Great. Um, I've got a few more minutes. Other topics people want to discuss right now? Um. I'd be interested in uh, Elizabeth's contribution. I mean, Elizabeth, you've taken the trouble to join. Uh, we don't, uh, we don't, uh, I mean, I kind of know you because you make comments on planning board <laughs> right. meetings and so forth. So, but uh, so I was just, what, I was what, do you, curious. what do you want to bring to this group? Well, I was curious about this committee just because I know there had been a lot of discussion about it um, and just generally trying to follow what happens um, with housing. And I'm not sure how I can contribute at this point. Um, I also recently joined the Amherst Community Land Trust. And there's oh, sort of okay. dis discussions about, you know, looking at looking at what's happening north of Fearing Street. Um, I sort of feel like what's north of Fearing Street has pretty much been lost to um the community um yeah. and that's and and just how does one avoid that just creeping 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 um and 
is there anything that can even be done about the situation north of Fearing Street? Because it's there's a lot of it that just is terrible. Yep. Yes, in neighborhoods that uh, we, we see the that the bottom end of Meadow Street, uh, where houses just become increasingly dilapidated. I mean, I think mm -hmm. that uh, I suppose one thing that can be done is that uh, photo documentation, so that it's not already being done, just so that, that people have a real sense of. Uh, I think that the lower end of uh, Meadow Street in North Amherst is a good example of mm -hmm. uh, of. Um, Houses that haven't been painted for years, most especially uh, gardens that are not maintained. Uh, 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 oh, he just froze. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, um, that's just I. I saw this meeting and I was available, so I thought I would check it out. Great, you're 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 welcome all the time. I mean, we we were hoping mostly from Janet that this would be just more of a conversational. Right. Meaning really, anybody to chime in to, to, I think we're all interested in the same issues and trying to come up with solutions. Right. Yeah, go ahead. So, in, in response to what um, Bruce said and Elizabeth said, oh, you're muted. Sorry, I, I did. Sorry, I was putting my hand down, but I was muting myself. A lot yeah. of communities have something called a, a bylaw called demolition by neglect, mm -hmm. and that would prevent. Um, houses from sort of slip sliding into disrepair. Um, and the other thing is, one of the things I'm wondering about is if we did a minimum distance requirement, people keep on saying, oh, we can't apply that to existing student houses because of grandfathering. I don't know what that means and why we're saying that. And so I think that's a legal issue to look into me, particularly since rental houses turn over. Yeah. Right. So I don't, there's a law, is there a law that says once you have a student rental house or a rental house, it has to stay that way forever? And I don't understand that. It seems to me, I, I'm wondering, and I have no research to back it up, but I, you know, I, I hate when people just sort of say stuff without documentation. Um, if we had a student rental registration, you know, if people were registering that and registering every year, and then we started to do a minimum distance. They could just come out and say, you know, I'm sorry, you can't do that. Or right. this, you, you don't get your permit this year, or whatever. Or you get, you have like a three year period to kind of do something else because I don't think we talk about this enough. There's not a lot of rentals in Amherst for people <laughs> that they can afford, and yeah. I, you know, you know, it's just it's it's such a tight market, and so I don't think it's saying to landlords, oh, you can't rent, you know, because only students I, I think it just opens up the neighborhoods to more stability and more people who would like to live in town so I just the grandfathering issue to me is not cut and dried to me I don't know why people keep on saying that and I don't know the law on that but I think that's something that we have to figure out or hear more about maybe yeah. from our town attorney yeah Brad, go ahead. uh the I I think the consideration here Janet is in general when the zoning bylaw changes and you have an existing use and the, the, the bylaw changes to disallow that, that existing use, which is now non-conforming, uh, is allowed to continue under the general rules and the that are in the general laws. That that can continue. Uh, it can't be increased in magnitude or anything, but it can continue indefinitely. Uh, and so I, th I think that's where the, the that's coming from in terms of zoning. Now, uh, the, the place that you can attack it uh, is through uh, the rental registration bylaw, uh, in which it it's fairly clear that bylaw is going to get challenged on uh, constitutional grounds. Whether that challenge will succeed or not, I have no idea, frankly. But that's I I think you can approach it that way, but not through the zoning bylaw. Fred, do you think you could can, can it be a can the um, minimum distance be done as a general bylaw? Does it have to go into the zoning? I've never understood the pathways myself. I am not sure about the answer to that question. 
I don't either. I'm not either. This this is the kind of stuff where again I feel like we need a town staff or planner to help us with, right? I'm like yeah, somebody who's committed to the I, outcome. I, right. I know I've expressed to you, Janet, my frustration on that front that I feel like there's not a lot of that support right now. There's but, there's none. <laughs> so, <laughs> Let's be honest, so it's see, not a priority in the planning department. <laughs> Right. I mean, well, I've never but seen it in five when years. I read when I read the planning, the how um, like in other words again, the housing market study. It, all the language is in there to give them reason not to support this. So <laughs> I was like, all right, they, they've been told that this is not important. It's almost the opposite. Anyway, discussion for another time. Um, okay, I've got to run. Any last comments? Thank you. No, thank you all. I'll uh, see you next time. Great.